Hey everyone, it's Monday, April 3rd, 2023, and I've got some bad news. Noticed that some of my peach and nectarine trees have come down with peach leaf curl, or just simply leaf curl. And so I wanted to show what that looks like and uh, how I plan to combat it, even if it's not this season. So right now, this is my Arctic Star nectarine. Everything is looking great so far. I've been watching this one like a hawk, and luckily there are no signs of peach leaf curl. And then the one behind it, my double delight, the leaves haven't even really pushed out yet. It's still in its flowering stage, so those two are safe right now. And there's a little bit of distance between these nectarines and the trees that are affected, although I have a feeling um, the distance is not great enough. So uh, peach leaf curl, as I've learned, is a fungus that lives in the tree, and even if you pick off the leaves that appear to be disfigured, um, that's not really going to solve the problem. The fungus exists beyond just the the leaves that have a funky shape and color to it. So let's come on over to uh, a tree that is experiencing some peach leaf curl and that is my Spice Z Nectaplum. Now I'm kind of bummed out by this. I hope this is just a minor case because this is an ornamental tree just as much as it is a fruit tree. These beautiful, beautiful dark red leaves um, just stand out and there's nothing else like it in the orchard. So let's get a little bit closer. I noticed that there are some disfigured leaves down here. Um, and there's one right there. So this is what peach leaf curl looks like on these red spicy nectaplum leaves. And um, I already picked off a few earlier with the hopes of uh, <laughs> denying the inevitable, but um, I'm just gonna let the rest of them go. At some point, these leaves will fall off this season and um, hopefully new growth in midsummer will come and replace it because I don't think I have a very bad case of it yet. If I look around, with the exception of the leaves that I've pulled off, there really are no other disfigured leaves. And uh, that's a good sign because really bad cases of peach leaf curl can affect the fruit. Luckily here in San Diego, right on the border of zone 10A and 10B, um, the fruit ripens so early in the season that even if I had a really bad case of peach leaf curl, I'm hoping that uh, I'll get my fruit in time and I, I won't be affected uh, fruit-wise. The tree, on the other hand, is a different story. So um, the Spice Z Nectaplum, as the name implies, it's part nectarine, part plum, and there's a little bit of peach in there as well, according to Dave Wilson. So this tree is susceptible to peach leaf curl as well, even if it um, goes a little bit outside of the, the traditional nectarine or, or peach categories. Now, the tree where I noticed this first um, is over on the other side, and I'll walk over there in a second, but I just wanna give a quick shout out to my August Pride, which is doing just fine. Uh, I grafted onto it already, so that's why it feels a little lopsided over here on the left. But I just put this in the ground. It's my step towards pushing the peach season into the summer further because I have a lot of early ripening peaches. Luckily, possibly because it's a brand new tree that I planted bare root in January, there are no signs of peach leaf curl. But um, with all the trees around it having it, I think it's, it's, it's inevitable. Uh, over here, I have my Saturn or Stark Saturn or I'm sorry, Stark Saturn or Donut Peach. And again, the leaves are just starting to push out, so I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna get on here yet. Um, uh, we'll have to find out. But the tree where I noticed the leaf curl the most is over here. Now this is a four in one. They're all early ripening peaches. I actually bought it as a four in one. If I could go back and do it over again, I, I probably would not buy a four in one. I would buy a, a peach tree and then graft exactly what I want onto it. But I do get a ton of peaches off of this and I've actually been thinning it quite a bit. So I've been getting up close and personal with this tree. And that's why I've noticed that in some instances, like over here, we have the redding of the leaves. Now this stands out a lot more on this tree because the leaves are green as opposed to the uh, spicy nectaplum where the discoloration is a similar color to the actual leaf color. But here you can see we've got some redding and some bumps. Um, you'll notice that further down on the branch we have some more here as I pan down. Um, so this tree's got it. I wouldn't say it's a bad case, but it definitely has peach leaf curl. And um, if I come on over here, you'll see that this, which I think is my mid-pride peach, this has it quite a bit uh, on, on uh, these uh, leaf clusters here. Luckily, the rest of the tree is doing all right. As I pan up, you're going to see I've got a ton of peaches. I am continuously thinning as they get larger and more noticeable and I say whoops those are a little too close together. So I've been thinning and as I've been getting into the tree and standing in the center of it um, I've been noticing that uh, peach leaf curl has taken over. As I come down here you'll see that it takes on a variety of different shapes and sizes and colors. In this case the leaf curl is definitely 
curling the leaves, but you're not getting that telltale red sign, which is pretty interesting. Um, that just within one tree you can see so many different variations. So in any case, uh, I, it's really not surprising that we're getting peach leaf curl here in San Diego. We're about four inches above what would be an average amount of rainfall. We get approximately eight inches of rain each year. That number has been a lot lower recently until this year where we're at, at about uh, 12 inches of rain and it's only April 3rd. So it's possible there's more to come. Everyone I've spoken to from all the way up in Orange County down here to San Diego, uh, closer to the border in the Chula Vista area. They're all experiencing leaf curl. So I'm not the only one. However, uh, I am a little bummed out because I've been growing peaches for the last six years and I have escaped leaf curl this entire time. My Ava's Pride peach never had this issue. And now um, it seems like every tree I own is getting a little bit of leaf curl. So what do we do? What is the remedy? Well, right now, nothing. Even picking the leaves off isn't going to do me any good, so I might as well just save the energy and leave it be. Um, the fungus is here to stay for this season, and my best plan of attack is either to just let it run its course and hope that next year won't be so rainy and so cold and the fungus won't be able to propagate, the spores won't reproduce in the same way, um, or I can spray the trees with a copper fungicide, and I thought I did that at the beginning of this season, but again, with the frequent rains that we've been having, it's very possible that the spray that I did do around uh, the beginning of January before these leaves opened up just got washed right off with the next rain. So um, I have been reading online quite a bit that says we should apply a fungicide in the fall. For me, there would be plenty of leaves still on the tree. This tree actually doesn't drop its leaves until uh, late December, early January. Um, so there'd be leaves on the tree in, in the fall, but I can give it a, an attempt to spray. Uh, and then again, you give it one more spray right before the leaves open up. So I, I would be doing maybe a fall and then uh, mid-January spray on these trees. And um, I could hope for the best. And that's all I could do at this point. This year, the leaf curl is here to stay. If it's a minor case here, I've been reading some of my trusted sources, Greg Alder being one of them. He runs a blog called The Yard Post. He um, it gets leaf curl every so often, and he just says he leaves it. And um, granted, you know, last couple seasons here in San Diego, he's a Southern California backyard grower. He um, has benefited from the dry and mild winters that we've been having. So maybe he might change his tune. I'd love to hear what he has to say after this season. Um, but he says that he just leaves it. He just lets nature run its course in the next year because the conditions for the fungus are not as favorable that the peach leaf curl kind of solves itself. It goes away. The spores can't reproduce the same way um, and he's never had an issue year after year. So I would love to hear from him or from others who are experiencing leaf curl. Do you apply a fungicide? Do you go and attack it head on? Or do you just kind of let the tree do what it's gonna do and, and hope for the best? Um, I haven't quite decided what I'm gonna do yet, although I am ready to spray if it comes down to that. Uh, I'm going to do another update in a little bit, maybe in a few weeks, to see how the leaf curl is, is progressing, if it's progressing at all. And um, again, it's a minor case right now. It won't affect the fruit. At least um, it doesn't appear like it's going to affect the fruit. But it does bum me out that some of the trees that I can see from the house, this one in particular, that I've raved about plenty of times, is, um, is going to have some ugly leaves on it for a little while. But hey, that comes with the territory. All right, that's my update for April on Leaf Curl.